we can see that the tremors are very noticeable for both of them. And what about hand movements? Clearly slowed, and the tremors are in the legs as well as in the arms, and they are bilateral, and facial expression change, and John has a jaw tremor, so um, it's uh, quite noticeable. The effect of the uh, it's very very yeah, quick sure and instantaneous, and uh, I I don't dare to ask them to stand and walk down the hall. They're not going to be happy. So I'm going to turn their stimulators back on. So as you see, Leila and John, thank you for coming, and we're here to talk about Parkinson's disease. And you both underwent deep brain stimulation surgery, and you are currently patients in the clinic and undergoing DBS stimulation for the treatment of Parkinson's disease. So, I would like to start with Leila. Okay. Leila, how old are you? I am 68. And you have Parkinson's disease? Yes. Okay, so tell us, when were you diagnosed? Well, about 17 years ago. I was actually driving to work and noticed my left and my right hand was shaking. And about 17 pills a day. Five, 17 pills a day. And by the time we met you, Mm -hmm. And we recommended DBS surgery for you, and DBS therapy is a different form of treatment for Parkinson's disease. Um, how were your symptoms? Yes. And we told you that you are a great candidate for, D for uh, DBS surgery mm -hmm. because you are at least in moderate stages of disease. You take a lot of medications, you have side effects. And you also had a very good response to levodopa, but unfortunately you were not well controlled on medications. You had side effects from too many medications. You had problems with medications were wearing off, so medications failed to, to control all your yes. symptoms. And how many medications do you take now? I take uh, one cinnamon in the morning and one cinnamon at night. And that's it. That's it? That's it. And do you have any problems from DBS surgery? Any adverse reactions to stimulation? No, not at all. I mean, What's I... better? As far as your mobility, tremors, rigidity, all the problems you had before. Do you have any tremors now? No. No tremors? No. What is? How would you describe your mobility in general right now? Very good. Very, Very good. good. Mm -hmm. Can you exercise and do everything you want? Everything I want to do. Mm -hmm. I went to my uh, uh, Parkinson's for yoga. Uh, class or yoga for Parkinson's and I took a big bag of all my medications and said I don't need this anymore and I showed everybody you know that that's that's one of the things that made a difference and let's see your hands how steady they are and I don't see any tremors in your hand movements if you open and close the fist really quick uh, excellent maybe ever so slightly slower on the right but they're excellent mm -hmm. and moving your feet Tapping your feet on the floor, one at a time, and left. It's excellent. Mm -hmm. And how fast can you get out of that chair? Oh, there you go. There. <laughs> so Leila walks really, really well. She's very steady. She turns very quickly. She swings her arms. She still is mm -hmm. How old are you, John? 66. Thank you for coming today. Well How many years you had Parkinson's for? Uh, I was diagnosed in 2003, which is 11 years ago. I started with a tremor in my left knee, and I just cleaned up my left ankle, actually. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, and I started typing double with my left hand. And, uh, I think by the time I met you, you had symptoms on both sides of I the body, did. right? Feeling disabled to some extent, because you could never really be in control of your mobility. That's right. Okay. So John is very, very quick. He's still a little stooped, but he's really improved.